Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 15th through the 21st. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. And let's see, Taurus. Wow. Those chose to fly off. Your recent past chose to fly off on its own. And I let it. The overall energy for the reading, the Eight of Pentacles, you want to work on something here. Now, I don't know what, but you want to work on something. In the recent past, you get the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Empress. What? Um, that's you with the Hierophant right there. And close to the Lovers here, this is telling me you may have had a very powerful connection in your life. Uh, and the Empress, to top it all off. This is definitely a person that's stuck to your heart. Whatever happened in this situation, this person is with you possibly until, you know, you go away in another realm here, uh, even after. Um, but this is definitely something strong. We'll see what happened when we clarify. Uh, in the current situation, you get the Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. All right, there is an emotional detachment here. Uh, there's you stepping away from an idea of love or from you and another person just being together. Um, there's definitely a sense of uh, emotional detachment, physical detachment, <clears throat> from what I can see here. In the uh, immediate future, you get the Knight of Swords, the Justice, the Five of Wands. Uh... You might seek to balance things out in a situation. Be mindful of the way you do it. Because if you do it in a little bit of a, it needs to be this way, you might get some conflict, you know. Um, there's there's a sense of you trying to fix a situation, but coming at it pretty possibly aggressively here. And that's going to cause uh, conflict. Let's clarify. Uh, let me clarify the Eight of Pentacles. The Death card, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Wands. This conflict, you want it to end. There is conflict already. <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll see. There, there's something that's not, it's just not working out. And you keep on coming back to it and you keep on wanting to work it out. And then you change your mind. And then uh, for right now, it's showing up. You're in the energy of, I want this done. Conflict or no conflict, I want this done. You might take action to have this done, but it doesn't look pretty. Uh, it doesn't look pretty in the sense that, you know, usually conflict, you can get rid of that with a smoother kind of energy. If you go with conflict, that conflict, guess what's going to happen? Kaboom which I see here. But at the same time, I do not feel like you give a damn anymore. You know, you might be in that place of, I, I don't care how it ends, I just need it to end. Um, so I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty riled up. Let's see the Hierophant in the recent past. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, the Justice card. You were trying to fix a situation here. Uh, I feel like it has nothing to do with this connection. I feel like this connection was on the side of things while you were trying to fix something else, possibly. Something that looks stable here. Something that looks long-term. Uh, let's see the lovers. Ooh. The world card, the wheel of fortune, the page of cups. Yeah, the situation keeps showing up as being over and then not so much over because, oh, wait a minute, I still have feelings for this. So it's not really over, even though physically it may be over. 
it's one of those things where uh, you can say and do whatever you want to say and do. It's still going to be there in your heart. This situation, this person, this whatever. So I feel like it was one of those back and forth about it. Like it's done. No, it's not. It's done. No, it's not. It keeps on popping back up. Let me clarify the Empress. I feel like this happened more at an energetic level. Maybe this person wasn't even there anymore, or maybe you weren't even there anymore. Um, this was more something you were experiencing rather than um, physically participating in. The Hangman, the Chariot, the Seven of Cups. All right. I don't see any kind of participation on this person's part whoever this is in this connection uh, that you are feeling rather than physically um, participating in. Um, I see them shut down for quite some time and then poof, they pop up just like that. Um, they may have taken off and look, looked in other directions here though. When they started to move, it's a sense of them moving possibly in another direction. Um, hmm. Okay, so that got complicated really fast. Let's see what's up in the current situation here. The Eight of Swords came out in reverse. The King of Wands, the Emperor. There's no more confusion in regards to you turning your back to something. I do see you kind of being in standby about something for quite some time, wanting to leave a situation for quite some time. Uh, no more confusion at all on your part. It does look like physically you're picking yourself up and going. Because um, you're there's some sort of confidence. There's some sort of... Um, It's like you trust yourself enough to know that you have to move in a direction somehow. And you know the direction that you have to go in. Uh, which I don't know what that direction is. You do, but it, it, it implies you leaving a situation, basically. Let's see the Two of Cups in the current situation. <laughs> the Devil, the Hermit, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's something toxic. There's something toxic you've been hanging on to with you and another person creating this beautiful love, which I feel like uh, with the devil being there, that's kind of telling me that's not quite the way it looks or quite the way it feels. There's something underneath it that actually makes it toxic. Uh, where the two people, yeah, they might feel like, yeah, we're in love, everything's good. But something's not working out in that dynamic. Um, and I feel like you gave it a lot of thought. And it is attached to the Seven of Swords again. Which is your turning your back towards it. Um, from it, actually. Um, so, yeah. Apparently, you're giving up an idea of we got to make this work. We got to make this work. Whatever this is. Let's do the Eight of Cups in the current situation. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Again, the energy, not only the energy is telling me Taurus is leaving a situation. Now it's reinforced with there's physical action to support that. There's words, possibly. There's communication, clear communication of I'm going, bye. Um, there's definitely a sense of a separation here. And it's being clearly communicated. So not only are you trying to... Uh, I'll just sneak up, you know, when they're when they're sleeping, I'll just go in that direction. They won't notice. Uh, no, it's coming in together with all elements to actually make this happen. So um, at the end of the day, you still have free will. You can still say no to it. The energy is so powerful, though, if you say no to it um, and you're feeling this. I don't know how good you'll feel going against this because it looks like it's coming from every direction here um 
the separation. But again, you do have free will. Um, in the immediate future, the Knight of Swords. Ooh. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Three of Cups. You want a coming back together with somebody. There's definitely uh, an individual here that you may consider to be your match made in heaven, basically. And I do see you taking action towards that. Um, hmm. I don't know who this is. Let's do the justice card. In the immediate future. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Empress, Emperor. There's definitely a very powerful connection you got going on with somebody. And you consider this person to be uh, very charming, very beautiful, very smart, very everything, basically. Um, very balanced within themselves, very strong with who they are, what they're doing, all of that good jazz. And I feel like you are trying to create some sort of balance between the two of you. Uh, let's do the Five of Wands, though. There might have been conflict here between you and this person at some point, and the conflict still shows up. So you may be aware that... Wow, Taurus. Uh, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Lovers. Yeah, the only way to resolve this conflict is if you open up your heart to this connection, which showed up again two times. You got the Lovers. Uh, which, because this conflict still exists here between the two of you. And having this energy that's uniting you somehow, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at all. The only way to escape that is to open up to this. And I feel like that's the outcome. Um, because your energy is very determined towards this situation. It's showing up in the future here. In the current situation, you're departing from something. Uh, let's see what the universe has. Six of Swords, Five of Swords, High Priestess. All right. You're still a little bit in a... Again, if you're finding yourself in this energy where everything is shouting at you, this is done, and you're still kind of like, no, we'll, we'll fix it. We'll make it feel better. Um, there's a sense of self-sabotage here where your intuition is telling you, go. And you might say to your intuition and to yourself, I'll stay a little bit longer. Uh, if the energy is at play, you can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Any kind of energy that's at play. Uh, you may change it for now. But when it comes in this strong, it's going to happen eventually. So, yeah, you again, you have free will. You can say no to this. It'll come back until it, it'll happen. Um, again, any kind of energy, not necessarily only this. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.